The city of Red Oak offers recycling bins for residents, but resident Jennifer Horner says that's not enough. It's not the best. We could do a lot better. There are towns our size that provide um, curbside recycling and curbside garbage pickup. We don't have either one of those things. Horner shows me the biggest issue she has with recycling here. Here's what I'm talking about, wishful recycling. Um, these are not recyclable. So these are going to have to be sorted out and they're going to have to go in the trash. Well, that's labor. Item after item. We don't have, this doesn't have to be in here. There are even signs on the bin that say no plastic bags. There's tons of them. Horner voices her frustrations at the recycling process. This is not recyclable. Trash ends up here, making it expensive to recycle. As you can see, I mean, they tell you what to put in and not put in, you know, and, but people don't, people don't follow that usually. The bins get full. People lose interest. It's too hard. They shouldn't have to drive home with things that they've sorted out and brought here. And the answer is simple curbside recycling. I don't feel like the city's doing enough towards that effort. I, again, I've, I've made presentations to the city several times and offered suggestions and solutions and like other towns who are doing it, it, you know, for them to reach out. I don't think any of that's been done. The city administrator here in Red Oak talks about why the city lacks a curbside recycling option. It's always a, an expensive option, unfortunately, for small towns. It gets, it's a challenge sometimes. We continue to look at that, and that may be something we try to take on at some point in the future. City Administrator Brad Wright believes his community does what it needs to. I think the people that want to recycle, recycle. Uh, again, our bins are very heavily used, so I think the people that want to recycle are using that now. Still, Horner wants to emphasize more options will improve quality of life. Does it make you feel good about where you're living and, and how you're treating the earth, which we're all a part of, very connected. I don't see any separation between humans and the environment. Reporting in Red Oak, Isabella Basco, 3 News Now.